Hey, good to have you here. Guess what? Earlier this week, we went to Sam's. We got some of this. Guess what we're making in that thing? That's right. We're going to make some sandwiches. Let's get started. We're going to do some slow cooker sandwiches. That's right. Kind of our prelude to going outside. We're going to do some slow cooker sandwiches. We're going to have to line it with parchment paper. No bag. No bag this time. We're going to line that thing up with parchment paper. And then we're going to do uh, the buns. We can cut them in half to actually turn them into buns. They're more like muffins or, or what are they called? No, they are already cut as buns. Like I said, we went to Sam's. They do everything there for you. So we're going to line that up. We're going to put in some ham. We're going to put in some cheese, some provolone. And we got some, some provolone. And then we're going to seal them back up. And then over the top, normally you would add some butter or something like that. No, we're going to do a butter work. That sauce that shall remain nameless, uh, some brown sugar, and a couple of other and onions, onion powder. And uh, we're going to put that all together, make it a nice slurry in a half a cup of melted butter, unsalted melted butter. And then we're going to pour that over the top. So, uh, hey, come on, let's get started. All right, we got one of those pre cut parchment papers. So we put it here in our seven quart container. There it is, all nice and neat. We are recording. All right. We take, uh, these are brioche ones from Sam's Club. If you have not, um, they smell good. We're going to give them a tasty taste in a little bit. So we'll put these in here. See, this, the only downside is that you're not going to get them all. Alright, so we're not going to be able to cook them all. So that is a downside. See, that's going to... For some reason or another, it's just not going to work. So we're not making two. That's all right. That's okay. So, okay, we'll get that covered up. All right, so now we're going to layer it with the um, ham. Like I said, we went over to Sam's. We got that member's mark uncured. Uncured, folks, it's got to be uncured. Black Forest ham. And if somebody says something different, tell them I said it's got to be uncured because that's what the container is. Alrighty. Remember how I said the eggs are getting... It's that time of year we definitely got to get outside. We're going to meet those flies in their own... Um... Oh. I'm over here struggling with the corners. No, it's right here in the center. If I can get to it. There we go. Oh, that looks good. Right, so this is... Uh... This is 22 ounces of ham, so it's asking for a pound of it, so don't worry, we'll take care of the rest. And this is how it comes out. We'll start layering it. Now, once it uh, cooks and everything, we're event obviously we're going to have to slice it. There's no two ways around that. Oh, this ham smells so good. It's almost like holiday ham. I don't know where in the world you are, but if you're going to eat ham, eat a lot of it. So I'm going to make some thick sandwiches here. I'm going to double layer this. Couple more slices to go. And that should do it. There we go. Again, for quality control, quality assurance, we're going to give it a little tasty taste. Oh, that's very good. All right, now we're going to put the cheese down. There you go, provolone.
And for those of you keeping track, there was no show last week. Um, we had some technical errors and difficulties. It was it was a mess. It was a madhouse. But uh, hey, we can blame it on the eclipse. So, so where you were, did you get to see the eclipse? It was cloudy here in Texas, and um, so it didn't work out as we expected or as we anticipated. So we did the best we could. And uh, luckily by the time the uh, eclipse was really, really getting underway, the clouds were starting to break a little bit, but it was not enough to, um, to give us a very good solid view. We still had to wear the glasses every once in a while, but... Um, and it didn't get as dark as where we were. It did not get as dark as we anticipated it to get dark. It really didn't even feel like it was getting dark. That's a downside. Alrighty, we'll see. All right, we'll break this one in half. So we'll put it here. And we'll put it up here. And we'll break another one in half and then we'll be done. This one over, and this one will go right here. Alrighty, there we go. And I did this backwards. All right, no worries. I did it backwards because that's the way it laid down, but it should be this way. <clears throat> That's all right. Hey, we'll make the adjustments. All right, so there are the two in the middle. There are these two here. All right? And then these two were right about here. All righty. <clears throat> all right, so now we're going to go ahead and combine in a bowl, we're going to mix together the butter, the work, work that sauce that shall remain nameless, uh, mustard, the brown sugar, and onion powder. Then we're going to pour it over the sandwiches, drenching each one. Alrighty, let's get a bowl. Three tablespoons of this stuff, oh, this stuff right here. Remember, read the ingredients. It's got a lot of stuff. Stuff you, wow, really? So we need three tablespoons. Well, and of course we'll just almost there. And there we are, three tablespoons. That took care of that. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. Some of that brown sugar we haven't used since the holidays. Well, here we go. One, two, three. Thank you. And two tablespoons of mustard. We're using this HEB Organics Yellow Mustard. Hey, it's mustard is mustard, you know, it doesn't really matter. All right, let's go find, let's go round up some onion powder. Yeah, there it is, onion powder. Hey, speaking of Sam's, if you ever go and like just see them now and now is like the perfect time, because you get there, you see something, and then it's like, ah, oh, I'm never gonna need that. And then sure enough, it's those fly fans. They do, they have the little fans, but they're not really gonna blow air. They're just gonna spin around. They have that metallic, uh, what's it called? It's not opalescence. Um, kind of like mother of pearl look to it, and it's and it's supposed to distract the flies in their eyes, and because they're all eyes, and uh, so it works. And it's like twenty bucks for two of them. So if you find yourself at Sam's. That's your Sam's tip of the week or tip of the month. There we go. Already quarter teaspoon of onion powder. All right, now coming on camera is the the butter slurry. 
Then mix it up. And then we're just going to drench everything here. Don't worry, coagulated the mustard and all of that coagulated, but it'll be fine. Oh, it smells good. Might have needed a fork for this, but hey, it's all right. It'll all break down with the heat. There it is. It's all in there. No. Okay. Um, that's it. Now we're gonna. We're going to run a knife between the buns and separate and serve out right out of the crock pot. So we're going to do that. But first we're going to go ahead and cover it for one and on high. These flies, where do they come from all of a sudden? Yeah, okay, here we go. We're going to set this to high. We're going to go for one hour. And that's it. All right, there it is. One hour, high. And... Uh, Get this thing going. Let me make sure this is all seated right. Let's see, there we go. All right, see you in a bit. All right, so got about another 10 minutes to go in the one hour for the uh, slow cooker sandwiches. Again, it was just that. It's from Sam's, the brioche bread buns. They're really nice. Uh, some ham, some provolone, and then we did that slurry on top. Really quick, real easy, just sit in there for an hour, hour and a half. It just depends on your slow cooker, how it works. So in this case, we're going to do it the hour. We're going to check it. In the meantime, I want to thank everybody for following, watching, liking, subscribing. You can do that down here, the little things here, but you can do that down in the actual application, not just in the video. Uh, so again, thank you very much for doing that. I do appreciate you. Uh, I do appreciate everyone's comments, uh, ideas. Keep them coming in because, hey, we're going to do something else next. So be on the lookout for that. Also, I want to thank everyone, veterans, for you. Again, don't forget, make that call, Veteran Crisis Line. And it's, it's right here. It's all right here again. I don't know why I just did that, because I covered it up. No, I covered up what I did, but it's there. <clears throat> 988, dial 988, the, then hit the 1 when the automated attendant answers. And again, it's not just for veterans, it's for everyone. But again, it's one of those that i got to stress. You know, sometimes... We just need someone to talk to. Sometimes we just, someone who's totally detached, someone who's a third party, has no bearing on what's going on, they'll listen. And if they, then you need more assistance, they're there to help. They'll put you where you need to be. They'll put you in contact with the right people. And again, you do not have to be doing VA health benefits or anything like that. No, this is open to everyone. And again, the number is 988, then press the number one on the automated attendant. All right, so there's that. You can also go online and chat with them online at the... Uh, Veterans Crisis Line, just go to their website and then um, chat with them there. Or you can text 838-255, 838-255. I've been doing this, so you think I have it memorized by now. But either way, hey, it's just one of those. I want to make sure I'm giving you the right numbers, making sure you're getting all the right values. Alrighty. So with that being said, make the call. Don't hesitate. Don't delay. Again, someone's thinking about you. And, and again, I know it can be difficult. It can be rough. But I'm thinking about you, and I want you to make the call because, hey, you never know. You never know. So, again, make the call. I challenge you. No, no problem. You don't need to share anything more than you're willing to share. That much I do know. But if they need to the help, they're going to need a little bit more from you. So, uh, you know, make sure you're, you're willing to open up a little bit. And, again, like I said at the beginning, it's like third party. You know, they don't know you from anybody. They, you're not the, they're not the person down the street. So, again, make the call. Don't hesitate. 988, and then press the number 1 when the automated attendant answers. And again, all that information is here. Alrighty. So we're going to start wrapping it up. We've got about another 10 minutes to go here with with the uh, slow cooker. Then we're going to test it, and we're going to check it out, make sure everything is nice and neat. It already smells nice. It's not anything overpowering. Remember, we were not using a lot. We were not using a lot of onions. We were using onion powder. We are not using garlic. We are using which, which, that sauce that shall remain nameless. We were using that. Uh, some brown sugar, mustard. Again, it all looks great. It smells nice. It's going to be tasty. Uh, so we had the ham and the provolone. You know what happens when you get those two get together, right? It's magic. All right, listen. Enough of me talking. Let's get this thing all cleared up and let's get this finished up. All right, there we go. An hour is up. Let's go ahead and take a looky look. Oh, oh, it smells great. Yeah, you can smell the ham and you smell all that stuff. I don't know about you, but uh, where I come from, this looks like they're done. Let's go ahead and uh, turn this off. Oh, it is off. Okay, good. It timed out. Excellent. Alrighty, we'll give it a 
We'll cut these up and get them out of here and let's uh let's dive right in. Alright, let's give it a tasty taste. Alright, let me shut this down so I gotta work over here. Alright. Alright, in our lessons learn section, we do not use pre-cut sheets. We're gonna have to lay it in because look what happened, it burned onto it. I mean it's hot. It will come off. Oh, that's cheese. It will come off. But the problem is is you know, why line it then if that's the case, right? Because now we have to let it cool, we're gonna have to wash it. So the lesson learned is do not use pre-cut pre -cut parchment paper here. Don't do that. It should have been higher. It would have been fine. No issues, no worries. But it was easy to pick up. That's the other thing. We just picked it up and dumped it over here to the uh, over here into the temptations plate. There it is. And that's where we're going to cut it up. All righty. Okay. So there we go. Let's uh, let's wrap this up. Everybody. There it is. There it is. Oh, sorry. Better, better angle. There is the sandwiches, slow cooker sandwiches. Still see the juice on top that's wet, so that's fine. Um, cheese is melted, the ham, everything looks great, smells great. Let's give it a tasty taste. Ooh, and it's all stuck together. Oh my. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's outstanding. Juicy, because we had that. It did say for it to be drenched, but you taste the butter, you taste the the wort, the sauce that shall remain nameless, you taste the brown sugar, you taste the mustard, the onion powder, it's all there. I sh should have whisked it a little bit more, but other than that, mm, no complaints other than that. Um, so don't expect it to go dry because you keep it in the slow cooker. Even if I had gone the extra 30 minutes, um, if I needed to go the extra 30 minutes, it still would not have made a difference. It's very tasty, very flavorful. And again, there it is, hour and a half, some bread, some ham, some cheese, and then the liquid stuff and the spices up on top. Folks, that's delicious. Slow cooker sandwiches. Who would have thunk it, huh? All right, listen, I'm Dave Garrett. Thank you for watching. And uh, this vet cooks.